I know Chelsea is the music person, but it makes sense that I do this review because I'm a huge orc dork. Hey guys, this is Morgan with the Rotoscopers, and today I am giving you my review of the Walt Disney Records The Legacy Collection Fantasia. So in case you don't know, this is a series of soundtracks that Disney is re-releasing, some of their favorite, most popular live action and animated films. They started doing this last summer, and this is the newest one to be released. Now I love classical music, it's probably the number one thing that I listen to in my car other than, you know, anything that's a podcast, and Fantasia was one of my favorite animated movies growing up. I know, weird, right? The thing that I love most about Fantasia is how it's able to create these visual elements to what you're hearing, and I just thought that was so cool. Ever since I've seen Fantasia, I do that myself whenever I hear a piece of music. I imagine, what's the story behind this? And I'm really grateful for this film for, you know, doing that for me, because it really enhances my listening experience. This is art by the amazing Lorelei Bove. She is an artist for Disney Animation, and so she takes some of the scenes, classic scenes from the film, and she has just little um, paintings that she does throughout. Now, it's so small, which makes me so sad because I know the originals weren't this small, but still so beautiful. I mean, you're looking at that, the hippo, um, the centaurette, great, great stuff. And as you can see, there's lots of text here and pages and pages of text because this is sort of like a mini history book, basically. It tells you the history of Fantasia. What were Walt's thoughts when he was creating it, when they were securing the rights, what music they were choosing, why they chose to go with this theme instead of that. Really interesting. I, I just love that I'm able to get a little bit of history and really cool. They break down each of the songs. So um, as you're following along and listening, you can read about each of the songs, the inspiration and whatnot. So I love that. I think this is just a really cool feature to have because with most soundtracks, you really don't get much background information. And this is really kind Kind of just a little history soundtrack. Okay, so now going into the actual discs. There are four discs for this. It's basically two parts. Disc one and disc two are the original recordings. These are the original recordings you see in the film by Leopold Stokowski. Discs three and four are a re-recording of the soundtrack by Erwin Kostel. Most people may not even notice the difference, but for me, being an orb dork, loving classical music, having watched and listened to the soundtrack so many times, I can tell the nuances and the differences. I can tell when this piece is played slower than the original or when it retardandos a little bit more than I'm used to. And so for me, it's an interesting experience to listen to this because I've grown so accustomed to just the original performance from Fantasia. And so I enjoyed discs three and four. On disc four, we get a bonus track. It's Peter and the Wolf. And then on disc two, the bonus tracks are um, the Sorcerer's Apprentice, read by Sterling Holloway, which Sterling Holloway is the voice of Winnie the Pooh. Um, he's done a lot of various Disney characters. He's incredible. Um, and then also Claire de Lune. So those are uh, just little bonus soundtracks from the original recordings that weren't ultimately used. So just talking about Fantasia, my favorite tracks are mostly on the second half. Disc two, I really, really enjoy because visually I know what's going on. I love the Pastoral Suite by Beethoven. You know, that has the Pegasi and the Centaurs and the Centaurettes and just the gods and goddesses. To me, that was my favorite part growing up. I love to watch that. It also has the Dance of the Hours, which is the ballet with the alligators, the ostriches, and of course the hippos. Um, Night on Bald Mountain and Ave Maria. In disc one, some of the songs are a little bit more experimental. Um, for example, Toccata and Fugue really doesn't have characters. It's more just very visual. There's elements, there's things happening. But I really like when there are characters and scenes and storylines going along with the music. Disc one has, you know, classic things as well. There's, you know, the whole Nutcracker suite. There's the Sorcerer's Apprentice, who doesn't love Mickey Mouse? And of course, Igor Stravinsky's The Rite of Spring. Now this may have been such a snooze fest to some people. I was watching this with my niece and nephew about a year ago and, and with some other people my age, like their, their parents, and they were like, oh, boring, this is so boring. How could you have watched this? And I was like, oh, I kind of liked it. Great stuff on here. You don't really get like the Mary Poppins soundtrack where we got interviews. Um, with the songwriters, Richard and Robert Sherman and whatnot. Nonetheless, I love this. If you don't like classical music, this might not be your thing. You will probably be super bored. But yeah, so Fantasia's not for everybody, but if you are a Fantasia or a classical music fan, definitely pick this up. I mean, this whole collection is so wonderful. If you love Disney history, then you're definitely gonna want to pick this up as well because just the, the booklet of the art and the history that you get. Oh, and there's also um, 
concept art. So it's not just Lorelei Bove's art, there's some other, you know, fun stuff in there as well. All right guys, let me know in the comments what your favorite track from Fantasia is. And be sure to like this video and subscribe for more soundtrack, movie, and animation news. Thanks guys, until next time, I'm Morgan and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.